From an original idea in boat construction, let's meet a man whose head's full of original ideas, most of which we've enjoyed at some time or other in the shape of best-selling novels, films or the theatre. So for another in our series on famous personalities, let's take in part of a typical day in the life of Wolf Mankiewicz. Mankiewicz is a professional writer in the true sense. No question of waiting for inspiration or leaving a manuscript until he feels like writing. He works regular office hours at it, pounding out newspaper articles, short stories, novels and film scripts, all with the same thoroughness. Come to think of it, anyone would find it difficult to slacken off under the stare of African masks like these. Inspiration, he calls it. A lesser known talent, but one in which he first made his mark many years ago in the world of antiques and modern ceramics. Today he is in fact acknowledged to be one of the country's foremost authorities on pottery and his shop is a collector's museum of exquisite pieces, vases like this. Another fine example is this chess set in faultless pottery, made in 1925 and today the only one of its kind in the world. In the evening, at his home in St John's Wood, he finds time to exploit yet another more modest talent, this time for cooking. And while it's not true to say he slaves for hours over a hot gas stove, the kitchen does give him rain for his ingenuity. And the one time that Mrs Mankiewicz lets him get on with it is when he's serving up his speciality, hamburgers. may not look all that appetizing at this stage, but we're assured by the family they taste good. The recipe? Uh-huh, that's a professional secret. Anyway, as far as hamburgers go, you either instinctively know, or you don't. Even after supper, Wolf doesn't exactly relax. As a family man, he can't very well ignore his sons before they go off to bed, so he chips in. The fact that there are three of them makes it a little complicated sometimes. Strangely enough, none of the boys particularly wants to follow in Dad's footsteps. Gered, the oldest, wants to be a farmer. Jonathan, aged eight, an actor. And four-year-old Daniel, perhaps the most original, just wants to grow up. Perhaps a more profound observation than he realizes. Anyway, so much for the family. How does Wolf spend the evening? Exactly. His only hobby is sleeping. Do you wonder?